am Janet Boetis and I'm a visual artist who works in a lot of very different mediums, but they're all basically inspired by nature. They include using watercolours and ink, but they also um, include just using the pigments like sand, um, soil. I would, could rub soil and that becomes either a background for something or a layer to use in, in a digital work. I've also done performance art, installation art. Um, it's very much for me about exploring and expressing in whatever way is called. So one of the big things I do is land art. One of the things I enjoy the most and that inspires me the most. And it's almost like a dialogue between me and nature where it isn't just me as onlooker and taking photos or painting it, but I'm, it's more of an interaction, it's more involved. And I do that as well very mindfully. So all my land art is very temporary. And that in a sense for me is a symbol and a metaphor for how I wanna live my life as well being really just drawn into the details and inspired and seeing all the beauty. And then when I interact with, with the landscape or even daily life, to do it mindfully. The Nuances series is the, I want to say my oldest ongoing series. It was inspired by double exposures with landscapes. And then it became for me about the memory of the landscape, the memory of nature, capturing that, especially because we're losing so much biodiversity. So in a sense, it's, it's capturing it, visually and artistically, Grabbing that essence, it's also about journeys because it's now been a journey of, what, 13 years. My own travels because they're very much about journeys, they're very much about connecting one place to another. The landscapes all have very personal um, attachments for me. To create one of my nuances artworks, the process would include taking photos, taking textures, pasting things together. It would be using some of my old textures and old photos and it's, it's literally just feeling. It's a very intuitive process of what do I need next? So it's all these connections and the layering, because we've got layering in our own lives. So a lot of different themes just come together for me and it changes over time as well. Especially if I'm kind of taking something and whether it's physically taking something or even just taking um, my perspective of the essence of that space, taking inspiration from it. So then I also want to give, acknowledging that there's an exchange. And sometimes it could just be a song or a prayer or just really putting my intention into that pushing out like gratitude for, wow, thank you. That to me is a very important part of the, of the process basically. 